Welcome back to our channel where we bring you the latest news, updates, and stories that matter. Today, we are deeply saddened to report on a tragic shooting incident that unfolded in Garland, Texas on December 26, 2021. At a Texaco convenience store located on the 700 block of Walnut Street, three lives were lost. Another individual was critically injured. In this video, we will provide you with the details surrounding this devastating event and the ongoing efforts to seek justice. Let's dive into the story. A fateful Sunday evening around 7.30 p.m., a horrifying shooting took place at a Texaco convenience store in Garland, Texas. Surveillance footage released a distressing sequence of events that unfolded within moments. As customers went about their evening routines, eating tacos from the taquerita located inside, an unthinkable act of violence shattered the tranquility of the gas station, leaving the community in shock. Caught on surveillance camera, the crime unfolds, revealing both the suspect and the getaway vehicle, a white four-door Dodge pickup truck. As the truck pulls up to the gas station, its arrival goes unnoticed at first, blending in with its surroundings. However, the situation swiftly takes an unexpected turn, escalating rapidly. A shirtless boy or man exits the passenger side of the vehicle, tightly gripping a firearm. They are crouching down to avoid detection as they approach the front door of the convenience store. Suddenly, the individual opens the front door and proceeds to unleash a hell of bullets upon the unsuspecting victims inside. According to the police, more than 20 rounds were fired from the assailant's 40 caliber pistol. The air was filled with the deafening sound of gunfire intertwined with the terrifying screams of those in the midst of the chaos. The assailant's brutal rampage claimed the lives of three individuals while leaving another critically wounded. Xavier Gonzalez, age 14, Ivan Noyala, age 16, Rafael Garcia, age 17, all succumbed to their injuries inflicted in the relentless attack. In the aftermath of this senseless act of violence, law enforcement agencies mobilized to bring the perpetrator to justice. The Garland Police Department swiftly launched an intensive investigation pouring over every available piece of evidence. As authorities worked tirelessly to identify the suspect, they faced a couple of challenges. The limited description of the gunman who was wearing a baseball hat, blue surgical mask, and dark colored athletic shorts posed a significant hurdle requiring a comprehensive review of surveillance footage and thorough interviews with witnesses. The investigative team was focused on their pursuit of truth and justice and determined to uncover any potential connection between the victims and shed light on the motives behind this devastating act. Shockingly, the next morning, a 14-year-old was taken into custody after police determined that the teen had intimate knowledge of the shooting. They were, however, released later on that evening based on new information in the investigation. The new information was that the alleged driver of the Dodge pickup truck who arrived at the scene with the shooter and was seen leaving with the shooter inside the vehicle turned himself in to the Garland police and was arrested Monday, December 27th. The driver, Richard Acosta Jr. of Garland was charged with capital murder of multiple persons and his bond was set at $1 million. It would then become known that the shooter was actually his 14-year-old son, Abel Acosta. So just to clarify, the first 14-year-old was released because they were not involved, but 14-year-old Abel Acosta was still wanted and on the run. During his trial, Richard Acosta testified on his own behalf. He stated he was only there to purchase pain medicines for his pregnant wife but his son noticed two teenagers who may have information about his stolen necklace. He stated he tried to keep his son from getting out of the truck to confront the teens, but was not able to hold him back. 
He stated he said he only knew his son wanted to go inside the store to confront Ivan or Raphael about his stolen necklace, but insisted he did not see a gun and only drove away because he heard gunshots. Acosta claimed he drove home the night of the shooting and that the last time he saw his son was when Abel was walking up the stairs to go to his room. The jury in the case deliberated for just under four hours before returning the verdict. Richard Acosta Jr. showed no emotion as it was read, but some of his family members cried as they left the courtroom. Capital murder carries a penalty of life in prison without parole or the death penalty. Prosecutors, however, did not seek the death penalty in this case. Richard Acosta Jr. was sentenced to life in prison for his role in this tragedy. The investigation's scope has stretched far beyond the borders of Texas as it is strongly suspected that Abel may have ties or family connections in Mexico. The unsettling truth is that the whereabouts of Abel Acosta remain a mystery, leaving a multitude of questions unanswered. With each passing day, the search for Abel Acosta grows more urgent and law enforcement agencies implore the public to step forward with any morsel of information that may aid in locating this teenager. The collective effort and support of our community hold the key to unraveling the truth behind this perplexing case. We must unite in our resolve to bring resolution to this heart-wrenching situation. Garland police, fueled by unwavering commitment to justice, are offering a substantial reward of $10,000 for any vital information leading to Abel Acosta's whereabouts. We urge anyone who knows even the smallest bit of information to come forward and reach out to Garland Crime Stoppers at 972-272-8477. The shooting at the Garland gas station has left a community in mourning and seeking answers. The loss of three innocent lives and the injury of another individual have deeply impacted the victim's families and the wider community. We extend our heartfelt condolences to the family and friends of the victims. Our thoughts are with the injured individuals as years later, they continue to recover from their wounds. In the face of the tragedy, it is vital for communities to come together, support one another, and insist law enforcement in their efforts to apprehend the suspect. If you have any information related to this case, we once again urge you to contact the Garland Police Department immediately. We will continue to monitor the developments of this case and provide updates as they become available. Remember to stay vigilant and prioritize the safety of yourself and those around you. If you found this story intriguing or thought provoking, remember, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure to turn on the notification bell so you can never miss an update. We'll be back with more news and stories that captivate our attention. Until then, take care, stay curious and stay safe. He say, oh, you need to come in quickly. I say, okay, I'm, I'll be there like 10, five, five minutes uh, as soon as possible. Yeah. But I'm gonna come in, the police is right there. I'm scary, man. <laughs> because uh, we work like a family. And I'm sorry like, for this happening and apologize for the victims. And I'm so sorry.